I'm Cindy, and this is Shell. We sold everything and set off on an adventure, living and cruising on a boat named Seashell. Click subscribe and sit back as we show you that it's possible for all of us to live an extraordinary life. The events in this video took place before the pandemic. We are in the northern Exumas, and during the winter months, one will experience the strong clocking winds of the Bahamas. This causes all cruisers to be on their toes watching weather and winds. Finding safe harbor in strong winds isn't too difficult, but it does require you to move frequently, as the strong northerly winds clocked east, south, west, and back around, over and over again. Sheldon is out playing in the current. Look at this. Yeah, the current rips through here. Does it? Wow. Yeah. This is a first for us. We reset the anchor. We, we reset. We actually dragged. When I was swimming over there, I noticed the ground moving. I'm like, oh, my lines let go. The boats actually moved, so I jumped out, and you told me then the uh, anchor, anchor alarm. alarm was going off. I think what happened was we were the other, what we were the anchor was set this way, and I knew yesterday the shank was well out of the sand, and it was a shallow set. But we already spent the day here anyway, so I thought it might have been okay. But what happened was we had a strong wind, and the current was probably more than I've seen. Yeah. I'd say it just tipped to the side right out and then reset again. Yeah, it's not like we drag. We moved might have maybe five feet. Yep. We just moved over here in deeper sand. The anchor is now buried. And I'm going to continue my swim. It's a hot day. It is a hot day. Oh. As predicted, the wind clocked from the east to the south, and it was time to pull anchor and head over to a beautiful anchorage with southwest to southeast protection on the north end of Highborn Key. The cut between Highborn and Allens and Leaf Keys is dotted with coral heads, some of which are just below the surface. Use caution, visual navigation, and the popular routes when you're coming through here. What's today, Sheldon? Last day of grouper season. The NASA grouper is out of season first thing tomorrow. So I gotta take a midday break, go diving to see if I can get my only grouper of the season. Tools of the trade. Suit up. I'm going on a hunt. <laughs> We've been in the Exumas for a week and we have not taken the same anchorage that we took last year. So, yeah. you know what? There's so much to explore. One season is not enough.
over here to dive, not dive, snorkel, um, a little reef we seen that we never had time to do. And tomorrow the wind's going to pick up. And today is glorious, absolutely glorious. It must be about 100 degrees, I'd say. What? You think it's 100 well, it's, degrees? It's pretty close, I would say. What do you got in your hand, Sheldon? Mr. Mavic 2 Pro. Look at that. We're going to try to fly it over there while we're driving. Yeah. And that is Sheldon catching the drone. I won't say it's not a little stressful. <laughs> no. The battery, the battery indicator went off. We got still got battery, but it it, it needed that much battery to get back to home. Ooh. It was just going back home then. Oh. I had to stop it. Okay. So. Right. This is pretty deep, Sheldon. Yeah. Super deep, and it gets cold when you go down so far. But The wind is at it again and we're going to get a substantial blow from the northwest, then northeast. So we'll head to the south of Highborn Key to see what the holding is like to ride it out. We got the shark feeding station over here. <laughs> so that means it's so so dug in. Hmm. Not the right out of blow. No? Good for tonight. I don't know. It might not be good for tonight. Might have, yeah, it's fine for tonight. There's no way. Okay. But we may have to go into New Orleans before. Blow comes. Right. Shame. I wanted to go in here. We need water. We wanted to check out this restaurant. <sighs> Let's see. All right, where are we going? For the first time, we are going into Highborn Key Marina. Not the usual thing we normally do, and it's an expensive marina, but we've got a blow coming this evening so we'll at least spend one day in there and then but it's going to continue to clock around at strong winds all the way around for five to seven days forever or more. uh so we might come out tomorrow and go here and then try to jockey position around the islands here for a week or let's see if we can pull a deal or something in there and stay there for a week but a weekly rate would be fun i'd like to check out highborn i mean there's lots of beaches and yeah it's, uh... it's not that we couldn't stay here the holding isn't great here and i don't want to go back down to the south part of normans no like we did before um and my anchor is not my anchor is you know that very the shank is out the, the base of it is out yeah. it's only the tip in not good for a blow blow not good it's going to blow into the mid-20s upper 
upper 20s, so. And we need water. We need water, we need to get rid of garbage. I need fuel for the dinghy anyway. We gotta go we gotta in anyway. anyway. So one night here, you know, splurge a little bit, try out the restaurant. Yeah. It'll be, uh, it'll be an experience. You'll like it though. You won't want to leave when you go in and eat a and few I'm days. And to top up. I haven't had a top up on the battery chart on the batteries since we left uh, Nassau. So it'll be nice to have the batteries topped up again. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's been blowing. When we blow from the south, when the wind blows from the south. Uh, the way I have my solar panel situated, we don't get uh, Power. much solar energy going into the batteries. When it blows from the north and I have full sun pretty much all day on the things, we're, we're pretty much good. I run the Jenny for an hour or so in the evening and, and we're good. I've got to figure something out to fix that. Let me show them. Solar panels are stuck there. So this stuff here and my radar blocks the sun when it's blown from the south. So I'd like to put these on sliders so I can slide them out about two feet when the sun, when we're situated differently and still get sun on them. So we'll see what happens. That's a next year project. Anyway, now we are going into Highborn. Made it in, sweating to death. But the wind's supposed to blow from this way. So if I'm gonna get off the dock tomorrow, oh, look what's right there. Blow me right into that. There's always something. Oh. I don't know. I thought you were talking to me. No, <laughs> talking to the- Sean has talked people. about wind so much this morning. I mean, we're around the- he doesn't stop talking about it. Yeah, anyway. We'll see what we get. If we gotta stay we'll keep here. On when the wind. wind when the winds clocks over come over the bank here, then maybe that's when we'll leave and we'll go out anchor off high one. Yeah. I'm so hot. It's really hot. I mean it's early. We're playing morning. a flat rate for power, air conditioning is going on. Yeah. Children's office today. Working hard. You actually are a little bit. Sheldon, food time. Good. Thank you. Look at this. Beautiful salad. Look at those fries. I love fries. Lunch was awesome. I had a pecan apple salad and I'm telling you, one of the best I've had. Yeah, one of the best uh, fish sandwiches I've had. Sean's gonna head back, do a meeting. Highborn is pretty sweet. It's just all this stuff is set up for you to relax, watch the sunset from chairs, and oh, lovely. It's resorty, hence the fee for docking. But it's pretty nice. Highborn Key Fish Cleaning Station. It's prohibited in the marina and the sharks just hang out. Look at them all chilling. Oh, hey guys. I don't know how long we're gonna be here without Sheldon's rain. Sheldon's been so busy today. We go try to hang out on some of the nice loungers and then he's got meetings, gotta go back for a call. Anyways, we're gonna just try now to sit down and relax for like, a few minutes, but look at this. We come out. And it's gonna rain. Oh, look, Moon. The boat's name is Moon. Moon. Hmm. Anyway, do here we'll, get, we'll do right here.
Okay, I think we're getting the storm. I think we'll stay another day and see if we can enjoy the facilities more tomorrow. Yay! Cindy likes. <laughs> <laughs> We stayed at Highborn Key Marina for a few days to wait for the front to pass. Highborn, being a resort-styled experience, has a lot to do. We took walks along the beaches. I'm walking on sunshine. Bike the island. Did some paddle boarding. I did some paddle falling. Hung out with Louie the parrot. And of course, ate at the restaurant again. It's a great place to tuck out of a bad northerly blow when you're in the northern part of the Exumas. If you don't mind spending the money for a slip, the island provides a lot to enjoy. This is for Highborn. Just waiting for a bite. Good glorious morning. We are up bright and early today and uh, we're changing anchorages again. Yeah, story of our lives. Story of our lives. In the last week. Yeah. That's the problem up here in the northern Exumas. There's, you, if the wind is clocking around and Quickly. remains strong, yeah. we have to, you have to move every, every time it, it switches direction. So we spent, it was really strong winds. We spent a couple of days in the marina then we came out a couple days here on the east side of Highborn Key, and now it's switched south and it's not died down. So today is going to pick up again. It's down a little bit enough for us to get away. We're going to go down to Shroud Key uh, at the top part to be protected from the south wind, and then tomorrow morning is going to clock west, and we're going to have to go to the southern part of Normans, and then never stay there for a couple days. Going to blow hard from the north. Hard, there. hard. Yeah. And then it's going to clock to the east again, rain hard, we're going to go to the other side of Normans. And then who knows where it's going to go. But all of that is strong winds the whole way around. And it's been going like that for a week, yeah. maybe a week and a half now. So. But we get to see other places. Yeah, you get it, to move around, it's just that you can't settle in one spot if you wanted to for... Or you can't, like we wanted to, um, we wanted to dive uh, the gulch. Hammerhead, but, Hammerhead yeah. Gulch, it's called. It's a nice reef, but yeah. we're not getting the winds to be able to anchor over there. And That's all good. It's all good, yeah. It's all but, good. Uh, <laughs> we're going we to the Land got... and Sea Park today, and we're going to yeah. do some stuff. Yeah. Walk the beach. Anyway, let's go. Let's get out of here. Coming from uh, the Bahamas National Trust, and he's coming. I bet to collect to collect cash. for our anchoring. So I think it's still twenty bucks to anchor in the park. Let's see. How are you? How are you doing? Good. How are you? Is it still twenty? Forty-four. Twenty-two. Just the one night. Yep. One night. Yep. The one night here in Trout with the south winds coming in, and we're gonna check out the beach. It's uh, Sunday, the beach that you go in through the creek up here, and uh, I can't wait to sit down and hang out at the beach. I know 
never wear lipstick. Look at it ripping there. Sun not up yet. Um, and it was a rolly. Yeah. We're so tired. <laughs> it started coming around the corner for some reason. And... Yep. Anyways, the wind definitely has clocked now, so off to Norman's Key. South of Norman's Key, which is just right there, but we gotta head out west and then cut in, or else you'll get a show. We go there, get settled away, have our coffee there. We need coffee right now, though, really, yeah. but, but it right. might be rough. Okay. Let's go. But look how beautiful this is. Gonna be some sunrise. As you can see, the wind is the master of your itinerary in the Bahamas during winter. You just have to go with the flow, take it easy on the planning, watch the forecasts, and be proactive. Eventually, the wind lightened a little, enough for us to head south into a fantasy land inside the Land and Sea Park. But before we left Norman's Key, Mother Nature decided to give us one more spectacle. 